Okay. Hi everybody and welcome to today's webinar on our new Facebook and SMS features for 3CX live chat. Um, we're going to be getting started in just a minute, but for now if you can hear me please send a wave in the chat. Okay, great. So let's get started. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Ellen and I am Partner Communications Manager here at 3CX. I'm really excited to be talking to you today about our brand new Facebook integration and SMS messaging features because I know that they've been really kind of hotly anticipated um, and there's been plenty of excitement on the forums about both of these two features landing. So here's how we're going to structure the session. First, we'll take a look at what's happening in the market more broadly and why we need these features now to be able to continue to compete. Um, then I'll run you through some updates to 3CX live chat, and after that we're on to the good stuff. So then I'll explore the Facebook integration and MSMS in detail, and we'll talk about how you can pitch them to your customers. So first up, what's happening in the world of communications that makes these features a necessity today? And one thing that's really changed is that in the past, customers didn't actually have a choice when it came to speaking with businesses or brands. So you've probably visited a store in person traditionally, or you would have made a call to speak to someone who could help you with your query. But it wasn't always very convenient, as I'm sure you've probably experienced yourselves, and it could take quite a lot of time. Nowadays, we want to do things very fast, and we want solutions much quicker than that. And the development of personal communication technology, so Facebook Messenger, um, WhatsApp, social media generally, has started to change the way that we interact with each other. And that's why we're starting to see this um, change reflected in the business world. And the younger generation in particular is kind of to blame for this. So millennials um, really driving the move towards chat and Facebook messaging because it mirrors the usage that they've got at home, um, obviously millennials being the first generation that have really grown up with social media throughout their lives. Um, but one thing that we can't forget is that older generations are sticking with traditional methods. So calling and slightly less frequently email are still very popular um, with kind of older generations. So what we need to be doing um, as communications providers is providing a mix of tools that caters to all these demographics. And as well as individual preferences for particular communication methods, another factor that's becoming increasingly important to all consumers is the time that they get a response. So nowadays we can send a message and get replies from our friends and families really quickly. So we kind of expect business communication to be exactly the same. And if we think about other services that we're getting used to, like Amazon's same day delivery, where you can literally get a parcel dropped off the afternoon that you place your order. Um, this is a pattern that's really happening everywhere. And speed is so important that for most consumers now expect email responses within an hour of sending the first email. They want to be connected to an agent instantly. They don't want to go through a big complex IVR. They want to be on hold for no more than 11 minutes when we're solving one of their queries. So they basically don't want their day to stop just because they've got a problem. They want it to continue and for you to find the solution in the background. And they want to receive a chat response within five minutes. And the way things are going, I would hazard a guess that these numbers are going to continue to drive downwards and we need to be getting faster and faster with our customer service. So in light of these two trends, um, what's really becoming clear is that we need to be offering consumers two things, choice, and efficiency in communications. And one of the reasons that this has particularly been challenging in the past is that when we think about the way that contact centers are structured, um, they've traditionally just been focused on really calling rather than giving agents multiple communication options. So in a contact center environment, if we think about it, you would have the bulk of your agents on the phones, and then you might just have a few agents around the side that are managing things like messaging and chat. Uh, but it's certainly not an integrated or balanced approach. So as you can see here on the screen, we've got each of our agents working in a kind of silo, looking after one channel each. Now, the new way of working is much, dis uh, much different, and this is really made possible by Update 7 in 3CX. 
and that's to embrace an omnichannel approach to our contact centres. So an omnichannel contact centre doesn't just offer more than one way to get in touch, which is the really crucial bit. It integrates multiple channels so that consumers have the same experience wherever they engage and they don't need to be passed from channel to channel, repeating information to get their problem solved. And that's what we're all about. So 3CX with Update 7 is enabling you to create omnichannel experiences in customer service. So rather than playing kind of pass the parcel by moving customers from chat to calls, repeating information, um, agents can move really easily between channels with 3CX, which makes the process much simpler for the customer and themselves. So you no longer have to have agents on one channel each. They can choose what works best for that interaction. And live chat obviously is an essential for all omnichannel contact centers. And that's because it's kind of a gateway channel. So customers will try live chat before they go for more intensive options, um, such as calling an email, which obviously require more of their time. And studies show that it's really quickly becoming a preferred um, method of communication for a whole range of people. So according to a study of 400 people by Kayako, 41% of them actually preferred live chat to any other form of communication, 32% still preferred calling, and 23% preferred email. Um, so this is great news for business, obviously, because live chat's one of the least time consuming options for your agents. So the more people that you can service on live chat, the more your agents are free to deal with more queries. So let's have a look at 3CX's offer. And 3CX's live chat can be integrated with any WordPress or custom made site. Um, it's actually available in all of our licenses at no extra cost. So um, you can chat directly from your web client without needing to pay for an expensive um, secondary piece of software. It's native and included from day one. Now competitors charge upwards of $15 a user for a third party chat application. So this is a really big selling point and we definitely recommend that you should be pushing this in the new year to customers and really exploring how it can help them. But aside from the cost, there are a whole host of other benefits. So um, your sales will increase by utilizing live chat well. So 79% of businesses that have implemented live chat um, generally say that it increases sales and revenue. It also increases loyalty. So customers say that they're more willing to buy if we have live chat on offer. And it saves your customers from phone fear. So phone phobia is actually becoming a real thing and we're becoming more reluctant to call. So you might find that people don't engage your brand or business at all if calling is the only option that you offer. So this helps people to take that first step to speak to you and to get their questions answered and obviously do kind of um, admin type tasks like book appointments much more simply. And now let's talk about what's unique about our live chat because we're not just another platform and what we're doing differently is really keeping you in control of your conversations. So in true omnichannel style with 3CX you can elevate from chat to voice or video free of charge to deliver even better customer experiences. So this avoids customers having to call again, speaking to other teams and agents, and increases conversions. So you'll typically find that you retain and recruit more customers by having the live chat on your website. And this is really important because obviously we're seeing this trend for live chat coming through where people are saying that they prefer it as a method of communication. But when we look, 38% are still frustrated by their experiences. And a lot of that is this kind of pass the parcel effect. So by having a seamless move from chat to call or video, you remove that and really soup up your customer service. And we've also uh, been doing some updates ahead of update seven. So our live chat has changed. It's a little bit sexier in terms of look and feel. And we've got a few new features in there. So moving forwards, um, new chats are gonna be auto assigned to the first person that answers by default. So at the moment, you actually can take a chat from the queue. And some people prefer to have this auto assigned, so that's now possible. You can send auto responses for chat customers to tell them that you're offline or to update them about opening hours. The queue manager can now train chat agents whilst they're working on live cases. 
by chatting and whispering to them. So much like they can on a call, they can just whisper by writing a comment in the chat that's only visible to the agent and not visible to the customer. And the operator's avatar image is now able to be visible once the agent takes ownership. So that just helps to personalize the experience and make the customer really feel like they're talking to a real person, not just another bot, which is really important. Now let's talk about our newest features. So kicking things off with 3CX's new Facebook integration. And I'm sure that we're all aware of the power of Facebook already, but just as a summary, um, we now actually exchange 20 billion messages on Messenger each month, and one in two people consider business messaging the modern way to communicate. So it's clear that for consumers and businesses, this is becoming the future. So if you want to compete in the contact center space, messaging is no longer a nice to have, but a must have part of your offer. And that's what we're enabling you guys to go out and do for your customers. So 3CX's Facebook integration, it's going to enable your agents to chat with customers on Messenger, but through the chat tab of their mobile app or web client. So there isn't gonna be a need to log into any kind of other platform. They'll be able to do it from the web client, which means that they're already really familiar with the two tools that they're using. And you won't need to spend time training them and getting them up to speed. And in terms of benefits, there's a whole host. So as well as reducing the hassle of obviously having to log into Facebook and having multiple agents with access to that account, um, we're removing the need for additional software entirely. So if your agents already use 3CX, they can get started instantly, no need for expensive training, and it's just like talking to another colleague on chat. To monitor the success of your new messaging channel, you also have access to three new chat reports that can be scheduled from the PBX. And I'm going to go into these in a little bit more detail at the end. Um, and obviously, um, it's going to really revolutionize your sales process. So at the moment, it's very difficult to actually capture leads while they're browsing your site. Um, because they could leave, they could have questions, and you don't know about them, and they go unanswered, and they go elsewhere. But if you've got that chat tab, your customers are much more likely to engage with you at that first point of contact. And that will help you nudge them down your funnels um, and turn that kind of query into a prospective sale. And obviously, as we've seen kind of early in the presentation, it increases customer satisfaction because it's a channel that they're actually asking for themselves. Now, I just thought I'd touch on the question of security really quickly because I know that we've had some questions about how data is being stored and transferred. So I just want to say that with our Facebook integration, we don't save any data from Facebook. In fact, we don't even have access to it. Um, we're using a stateless proxy, so it's going to forget all about the SIP request once it's been transferred. So there is no way that we have that data. Um, and we do have a G GDPR officer. If you want to get in touch, it's dpo at 3cx.com, and they would answer kind of any questions that you had about that. Now let's talk about our very hotly anticipated SMS functionality. So this has been requested on the forums for a long time and we're really excited to be rolling it out now. So update seven will support two way SMS messaging. So lots of providers already offer one way messaging, but our integration is gonna enable you to have interactive conversations via text from the 3CX clients, just as you would with your friends so it's really interactive and much um, kind of better in terms of the service that you can deliver than just being able to kind of broadcast or page messages to customers as a lot of our competitors do. So numbers can be assigned individually or agents can share a number depending on their requirements. So for example, um, our sales manager might have a direct line whilst our customer service agents can share one because they're sharing responsibility for a given territory. Um, so it's up to you how you decide to structure that yourself between your agents. And we're going to be supporting 10-digit long codes, which is essentially uh, just a basic phone number, and P2P messaging going forward. And in terms of benefits and kind of uses, um, what we want to encourage you to do is obviously think beyond what's obvious. So you can send appointment reminders, updates about your opening times, um, kind of maybe product offers, but because it's interactive, there's a lot more that you can do. So you can actually use the SMS to resolve customer queries. 
Um, I know that for me personally, I always find it much easier to just send a message than be on the phone for a long time going back and forth while something gets fixed for me. Um, especially if I'm working, it's really useful to just have that messaging option. And we've seen some really um, good uses in kind of schools where they're engaging parents and keeping them up to date and in hotels where they're using SMS as a check-in, check-out system. So whatever your niche is, there is an application for SMS um, and do have a chat with your channel manager if you want to kind of get any ideas about pitching this to your customers and kind of exploring the benefits for them. So to start with, we've uh, partnered with two providers. So that's Telnix and Flowroot. And um, to begin, we are going to be um, running the services in the following countries. So that's the US and Canada, the UK, Poland, Australia, and China. Now this is just to start with, so we are hoping to expand the number of territories that we support over time. Um, Twilio also coming really soon, so you'll see that on the website. Um, so we are looking to significantly expand that list as time goes on. But just please be patient, because obviously this is a brand new feature. And then just to finish up, um, earlier in the presentation, I briefly mentioned our new chat reports that are going to be introduced. And I just wanted to expand on them a little bit before we finish. So there are three new chat reports available with Update 7 that make it a lot easier to track how your contact centre agents are engaging with customers on chat. So first up, we've got the Q Agents Chat Statistics Report, um, and that basically shows you how well an individual agent is performing on chat. So it will show you their answered, unanswered, and abandoned rates, and break it down by agent. Your Q Chat performance consolidates these statistics and shows you it at a Q level. And then finally, you've got your abandoned chat report, which will show you how many chats are abandoned, left unanswered, and why if someone leaves a message. So if the person consents for their um, contact details to be taken, you'll get this sent in the report so that you can follow up with them really simply. Um, so it makes that process a lot easier and really helps with that lead creation. And that brings us to the end of the presentation. Um, so in terms of key takeaways, there's four things that we'd like you to keep in mind. One is that obviously messaging going forward, it's not something that's gonna be on the kind of periphery of your contact center. It's something that's gonna be a core part of it. The second is that one agent should now have responsibility for multiple tools. And that's what 3CX contact center solutions are enabling you to do. So you don't need to have people working in silos. You can have them seamlessly switching between the tools that they need to get the job done. The third is we'd love it if you went away and tested this with your existing customers. So um, don't just focus on you, have a play and see how it can kind of really boost the sales of your existing customers and get some numbers that you can work with when pitching it to new clients. And then four is think omnichannel. So build omnichannel contact center strategies for your customers, really encourage them to be thinking about the synergy of these tools um, and that will help them and you in the long run. Now, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm gonna stick around for questions, but um, if anybody has anything that hasn't been answered, you're very welcome to get in touch with us on the LinkedIn groups, the Facebook groups, or send us an email to partners at 3cx.com and we will get those queries answered during the day. And thank you very much.